Okay, man, here we are back with the Dodge console that I'm building. Um, I got it all wrapped. <clears throat> Some of the simplest looking things, man, take the most work. There's more work in this thing than than you can believe, man, but it, it looks simple from here. Um, right here, the console just stops. I've just stopped it because i got to do something different to uh, attach it to the dash and everything. Uh, these are the... I'll have a insert side panel that goes here but as you can tell I got everything fitting you know real good uh, use the original top and then on the back of the console is the woofer uh, getting this thing to set up and everything was just it was just a bitch to get the woofer like I wanted and to get as much airspace as I could get uh, the tricks and stuff that I used on the inside I'm not gonna show those cuz I can't keep up with all the questions and stuff about them so you know, uh, let's just say that I did whatever it took to get the side panels here to be square and get the woofer where I wanted it and all that. Now, once this thing is all done, I'll break those braces out on the inside and, uh, you know, that way I won't take up any more airspace than what I absolutely have to. But, um, that's it, man. Um, I always like to show you guys some kind of little trick, um. And I don't mind showing flaws because every anybody who does this type of work, they have flaws. They just don't show them to you. And my flaw is <clears throat> down here, you can see where the I didn't get the cloth to come all the way over to this side. Well, this is a solid side, so it doesn't really, you know, make any difference. But it is a problem area. And I'll show you how to, how to fix that whenever I get to that part. It looks like a huge mistake, but... It's not that big a deal. We'll make it real easy. And then that way, whenever you guys have that same problem, you'll be able to fix that up. But uh, just so you can see, take this off. And I just, you know, let that cloth just lay over that top. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to mention to you guys is just something that I'm thinking about. The products that you use is what's going to make a difference in this stuff. Um, you can buy that old cheap ass fleece from, you know, Joann's or you can buy it from Walmart. You can buy fleece anywhere. But the problem is, is that it's thick and it's hard to get that resin to go through. There's two reasons for that. <clears throat> it's hard to get the resin to go through because it is so thick and the resin that you're using is probably old. If it comes from Home Depot, if it comes from a body shop place, any place like that, it's going to be old. Resin has a shelf life. So, um... I'm working on something that uh, will help probably me and you. Uh, I buy it by the five gallon drum and I can't always use all that. Uh, sometimes it's hard to use up that much resin. So what I'm going to start doing is if you guys are interested, uh, hit me back on my YouTube thing and uh, you know maybe I can start selling y'all some of the resin that you know I'm not using that way I can go through a pail quicker and it'll still be good strong resin. Um, Whenever your resin starts breaking real easy, whenever you do like a thin, this is pretty thin, and it and it breaks and you'll hear it crunching and stuff like that, that's old resin, man. That Whatever you're making that and doing that with, it's going to break. Um, if it takes forever to dry, it's going to break. Uh, quit using that cheap shit, man, because it doesn't cost much more to use good stuff, and this stuff that I use is like steel. And I got a body guy who has to sand this stuff and do body work sometimes on this, and Man, he hates it. This stuff is as strong as steel. Um, but here's this video here. So um, let me know what you think. If you like my idea on the resin thing. And uh, this cloth is the same, the same way. It's not your typical fleece. It's not that standard stuff that's so thick. Um, if you like it, hit me back and let me know. And uh, you know we'll get some of you guys out there doing, uh, doing better projects with this kind of stuff. So uh, thanks for watching.